Yeah, so it's exciting when we have new breakthroughs that are practice changing. Those don't happen every day. And thankfully now in large cell lymphoma, we've had that kind of paradigm shift in the second line treatment for our patients. Over the past 30 some odd years, the historical dogma has been patients who have relapse disease should get platinum chemo, and if they respond, go on to receive high dose chemo and an autologous stem cell transplant. Three randomized phase three trials were conducted, and over the past few years, we've seen two of them read out showing that CAR T cell therapy, specifically AxiCell and Lysacell, were superior to that previous paradigm of chemo and transplant. Last uh, a few months ago, we showed that AxiCell is actually superior with an overall survival advantage, a statistically significant overall survival advantage over chemo and transplant. That's the first time in nearly 30 years that we've seen an overall survival advantage. And so now the standard of care in countries that have access to CAR T-cell is no longer giving chemo in second line and transplant, now it's giving CAR T-cell. And so we've changed the algorithm from what used to be considered, is the patient eligible for transplant or ineligible for transplant? Now to be asking the question, how long ago was first line therapy? The clinical trials I just mentioned were all in patients who had relapsed within one year of their initial treatment. We know that patients who relapse later generally have a better chance to respond to chemo than those who are refractory or early relapse. So the algorithm now is looking at patients who have an early relapse. If you're within one year, the preferred approach is CAR T-cell therapy. And as I mentioned, AxiCell has recently shown a superior overall survival advantage in that space. If you're beyond one year, then the question is, are you eligible for chemo and transplant? And we think that with this approach, this updated new algorithm, which Dr. Laurie Sen and I published in Blood in 2022, that we think that this will allow more people to receive curative intent therapy.